In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can go from this to this super easily using the Rotobrush tool. This Rotobrush tool in After Effects is like a magical paintbrush that can remove video background. Bing. It's how I can turn this clip into this okay. clip. Oh. It's also how Cinecom put themselves in an Avengers movie or how Venter Visuals makes these cool dancing scenes. So whether you want to put text behind someone or just disintegrate your dad, because <laughs> If you need to separate something from its background, this video is for you. All right, step number one, just open After Effects and import the file directly in there. Or let's say you're already in Premiere Pro, just right click and select replace with After Effects composition. Step number two, once your clip is in After Effects, double click on the video layer and it will open up the layer window. Oh. Your journey continues as you locate the enchanted Rotobrush. Take your mouse and you'll see a magical green brush appear and you paint a stroke on your subject. A good tip is to not draw an outline, but rather pass straight through the middle of the object. If you do the edges, it will confuse the brush and it'll probably just select everything. Our initial stroke has set the stage here, but our magic can always be improved. To refine a selection, let's remove some parts that we don't need. Hold down the Alt or Option key and remove the things that you didn't want selected. Add in the sections you need. Using the green brush, remove them using the red brush. You can also make this brush bigger or smaller, clicking the command or control key and dragging the mouse to the right for a big brush or the left for a small one. I'm not a fan of hair, but it's growing on me. When you have all these little tiny lines, the best way to do this is to click on the Rotobush tool and you'll see this refine edge tool. Use that one to do everything that has really fine light details like hair. You'll notice that it's like grayed out. That means it's working. I love the little buttons at the bottom that let you see the little different views of the Rotobrush, like alpha or alpha boundary, alpha overlay, and you can actually change the color like right here. Once you're satisfied with your initial frame and its strokes, I like to move frame by frame by holding the command key and use my right arrow on my keyboard to move one frame at a time and see what I need to adjust. The AI is pretty good and it will select most things, but where it messes up, don't worry. We just need to cast a few more spells, like it's a couple settings version. Let's do two is better than one quality best because it's the best. And drop down here and you see the search radi radius. This adjusts the area where After Effects is searching for maxing pixels. This number is too small, it might miss something moving. If it's too big, it will probably add things it doesn't need to. Click this view search radius and it makes this little green box around the subject where the road brush is searching. Can enable these classic controls that turn things on like motion threshold or edge detection, motion damping. I have no idea what they actually do. Just gonna skip it. I'm instead of removing the background, I'm removing me. Refine these edges, reduce chatter, shift edges, make better contrast and feather selection. I just adjust these till they look good. I don't know, it's magic, not science. Just experiment with it. After you've done all the frames, you can freeze your magic to hold in all that calculation in place. And that's it. You're done. If you want to see how you can use this tool to make yourself get hit by a car, click this video right here because this one is over. Stay super.